Good morning, Dunwoody High School. My name is Skevels Christian, and we are here live in the Dunwoody High School cafeteria. Tonight's big matchup will be between the number four ranked Dunwoody Wildcats, who are 19 and three, and the number three ranked Blessed Trinity Titans, who are currently 22 and one. <laughs> in their previous meeting, the Blessed Trinity Titans won 73 to, to 68. Blessed Trinity controlled most of the game, and, uh, but Blessed Trinity is coming off their first loss of the season to Maris. So, <laughs> and Dunwoody has not lost a game in the state of Georgia since their loss to BT. So we're looking at a good game. And I'm now joined by Michael Ryder and Andy Mills, and they will be telling us some keys for a nice game. Thank you, Scott. This is going to be an interesting and important game. Now, the importance of this game. If Dunwoody wins this matchup, they will be tied with BT in the region standings. A coin flip is going to be used to determine who the number one seed in the region tournament is going to be. Now this is important because they are going to receive a first round bye in the region tournament as well as they will not have to play South Atlanta, the number one team in the state of Georgia and a nationally ranked team, South Atlanta, until the region championship. So it's important for Dunwoody to win this game. Now I'm for the keys to the game. Dunwoody has to come out and they have to play like a team. They have to play unselfishly on the offensive end and have great team chemistry on the defensive end. Now on the other hand, BT, they're going to play like a team. They've been together most of their lives. They even watched the more movie Glory Road after they lost to Maris. So BT is going to come out and play like a team. Key for BT now is going to be shooting the ball extremely well and not turning the ball over. Yes, Michael, just like BT can't turn the ball over, Dunwoody cannot either. Dunwoody needs to play unselfishly on the offensive side of the ball. They need to work it around and get it down low to Singleton, Graham, and Booth, and McKay coming off the bench. And they also need to establish the perimeter with uh, Jordan and uh, Grayson. So those are the keys for Dunwoody to win this game, and if they do this, they will have a great <laughs> shot at winning. Now, offense is one thing, Andy, but defense is a completely different thing. Dunwoody has to take BT out of their... BT is going to try to come, come up the court, set up offensive plays, and pass the ball around to the open shot. Dunwoody has to press BT and play great team defense if they want to win this game. BT did a great job in the first matchup of forcing turnovers off of Dunwoody and getting easy baskets on the other end. Dunwoody has to play great defense to win this game. Yes, Dunwoody does have to play solid defense. But uh, the, the biggest key to this game is controlling the tempo. If BT plays their type of basketball, slowing it up, passing it around, set plays, and getting it down low, then they have a great shot at winning. But if Dunwoody comes out and plays Dunwoody basketball, pushing it up and down the court, fast breaks, tiring out BT, then they will, they will most likely win this game tonight. Now, that, that is a good point, Andy. Now, both these teams are very talented, but the most important aspect of this game is going to be turnovers. Turnovers can give the other team momentum during the course of a game, they can also lead to easy points on the other end. Whichever team has the fewest amount of turnovers in this matchup will win this game tonight. All right, well, thank you guys. But this would be a very interesting game as well as a very intense one. But we are now joined by one of Dunwoody's captains, senior Delwan Graham, who has just signed with LSU. And Delwan, I think Andy and Michael have a couple questions for you. Hello, Delwan. Hey, how are you doing? Now, you're going to go play basketball next year in college. What's the one thing that you need to work on to become a better player? Uh, I think the one thing I need to work on is becoming a, a better college basketball player is my shooting. Getting okay. to the basket is, is good already, so. Okay. And all right, Delwan, you've decided to go play at LSU. Why'd you choose to go play there? Well, the reason I went to go decide to play at LSU is because uh, I had uh, I had to, to, to. <laughs> I liked that the coaches, me and the coaches got along well, and also when I went down there for the visit, me and the players had got along and a good chemistry together. Okay, now B tonight is a big game against BT. What's going to be right, a right, key right. to beating this team that you weren't able to do last time? Well, last time it was the first first game of the season. Everybody was hyped to coming in for the first game and whatnot. But uh, today the main thing is to just go out there and have fun. Once we go out there and have fun, the game will come to us and we should win. Well, we will win. <laughs> Adam boy. Uh, I've seen you dunk the ball many ways in many of games. What's your favorite dunk to do? Well, I don't really have no favorite dunk. I just like dunking on people or making the crowd, the crowd uh, lose an eyes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Doan, it's, it's clear to me that the expectations of this team is to win a state championship. What are going to be the keys to winning a state title this year? Uh, the keys to winning a state title this year is uh, taking it day by day and game by game. Uh, keep doing what we're doing, getting a better chemistry, and that's it. 
Okay, thanks. Thanks right, for thank being you, on the thank program. Thank you, Del Juan. Mike, Mike, Mike. Thank you, Del Juan. Good luck in tonight's game. But we are now joined by one of the Lady Wildcats captains, Kristen Nash, and uh, we're going to ask her some questions. So, Kristen, are you surprised at how well your team is doing so far this season? Um, no, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, even though our team's young, we play well together, and we've just been working hard. And what have y'all done these past couple days of practice so you can focus on the game against BT? What have y'all done to prepare? Um, our practices these last couple of days have been really intense. Um, we've been working on a lot of transition drills and just working on playing a faster tempo game. And wh what is it that y'all are going to do this game so you, so you don't fall in that hole like last game well, and y'all are going to come back? Well, we're going to try to <clears throat> jump out on them early and um, get out on their shooters and keep them from playing their slow-paced game and just play aggressive the whole time. And tell us how important these last two games are before the region tournament next week. Um, they're very important. We need, we need to win both games uh, to um, keep us in second place and just put us in a good position going into the region tournament. All right, Christian, thank you for, having, thank you for coming and good luck tonight. All right. Well, tonight, the first game of the doubleheader will be between the Lady Wildcats of Dunwoody and the Lady, Wildcat, or the Lady Titans of Blessed Trinity. And uh, in the previous matchup, the Dunwoody Wildcats were down by 17 going into the fourth quarter. And, but they kept their heads together and they played with heart. And uh, they went 12 for 12 from the free throw line. The big shot by Crystal Wells, who uh, narrowed the lead down to three points. And they eventually went on to win the game. And uh, Kristen Nash from Adam Tyson had big, big shots at the free throw line. And uh, now we're going to go to our picks. And uh, we're going to see who's going to win both of these games. Okay, so, thank uh, you, Scavo. As you said before, Dunwoody won the first matchup this year. And they're going to do it again. I'm going with Dunwoody over BT. Yes, yes, the Lady Wildcats will win this ball game because they're coming off a loss against Westminster. So they're coming with a full head of steam looking to beat BT. All right, thank you guys. But now it's time for our big pick. It's going to be between our number three ranked Blessed Trinity Titans and the Dunwoody Wildcats, who are currently ranked number four. Now, in the last matchup, Dunwoody, Dunwoody lost 73 to 68, but they're looking to come back because they've got a lot of momentum. They've got a lot of momentum because they haven't lost a game in Georgia since they lost to BT. But Maris just beat BT, and so it should be a good game. So, Mike, Mike, you got to tell me what's it going to be. Now, Dunwoody, the key for them to win is they have to come out and play solid team defense. They have to force BT out of their game. Now, on yeah. the other hand, BT, it's going to be interesting to see how they come out after their first loss of the season. Are they going to come out fast, energetic, and ready to play, or are they going to come out slow? Because if they come out slow and they start turning the ball over, missing shots, Dunwoody, they, Dunwoody could jump on them early. But the first game of this year was here at Dunwoody. This time, Dunwoody has to travel to Blessed Trinity and play in front of all their fans. I'm going with Blessed Trinity over Dunwoody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Michael. Whoever comes out and plays their game tonight uh, will win this game. If BT comes out with a full head of steam playing Blessed Trinity basketball, they can win. But if Dunwoody comes out and plays Dunwoody basketball, pushing it up and down the court, fast-paced, then they will win. So now, you're right. BT is going to have a lot of fans there, but so is Dunwoody. <laughs> These great fans back here will travel to any opponent, opponent stadium and make it their own. So, bless the Trinity. Go Q, Glory Road. I'm going with Dony Wildcats. Oh. <laughs> All right, last one. We'll right again. Reminder, girls game starts at 6 o'clock, guys at 7.30. And tickets will be starting on sale at 5 o'clock. Make sure you're there. Y'all have a great day.